Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck Valley Farm. So today I have a very exciting and interesting setup to use. I have used it before, I actually did use it once on Felsbrunn and uh, I, I was desperate to use it then. I can remember wanting uh, the front plough to be released for the game. And I think it wasn't until January of 2019, the game was released in November of 2018. So it took a, a month or two just to, uh, to get it released but I think I haven't used it since, so it'd be really nice to use it again. So what we're going to do is put this over here. Don't know exactly where. Yeah, so as I was just saying about the front plough, it's basically where you put a front plough and a rear plough on the tractor at the same time. You've probably already seen it in the thumbnail though, so I don't really need to explain. But we're not going to be using it on this tractor because we have another demo tractor to use. We're loyal customers at the local dealership. Um, yeah, so we're actually gonna be working in that grass field. I think it's at number 62. Yeah, 62, we're gonna plow this field here and we're gonna plant it with corn. So let's just unfold that there and then we can, we can lower it down, drop it off and we can transport it back over to the farm. Although maybe I don't want to transport it yet because it's most likely just going to get in the way. Yes, I think we're going to, we're going to start with the ploughing. We also have loads and loads of slurry, which does need to be applied to the land as well. Uh, this particular field, I don't think it's going to be, because I just want to get the crops in the ground, but all the grass fields, all the other grass fields, I will be putting slurry on. But that's good, Everything, everything's good here. All these fields are planted, oh, look at that. It's not the tightest of turning, I, I don't know, maybe I've got it set wrong. Um, uh, hmm. I think it's all folded up. It doesn't turn very tight at all. Right, okay, let's put it over here. So the tractor which we have on demo today is the very impressive Massey Ferguson 8740S. Again, you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. But this is the exact same front plough as what I used on Felsbrun, uh, but it is a different rear plough. This is actually the plough from the Cavernland and Vicon DLC. But it is the same size, it's two and a half metres working with. So the, the setup itself is very similar, just a different brand. It's impressive. I, I really do like doing this. Although it must be a bit of a nightmare transporting it down the road. Yeah, so it's the uh, the S series rather than just the standard. No, wait, doesn't the S stand for standard? Well, before they started adding S to the model numbers, um, in the base game, the largest Massey Ferguson tractor is an 8737. Whereas now we have the 40, which is the the biggest Matty Ferguson tractor in production. Right, um, let's just see here, get that removed. Don't know if the plows need to be set a bit differently for transporting on the road, it does seem a little bit wide. But I don't really see what could change. I think we just have to drive with care. Hmm, maybe they should be on the same side. Wait, is that rear plow? If you press X, it just flips over. Oh no, look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have done that from the start. Still, it's done now. Not to worry. I think the front plough just stays as it is. But no, this is a very nice tractor. I think really, uh, as we're using the 8700 series, we should just use the flagship model instead of using just another one in the series. 405 horsepower. Alternatively, I probably could have tried it on a 7726, but I don't know if it would have had the power. I suppose it would have done. They're like 280 horsepower or something. Anyway, we're here. Yes, so not something I do a, a great deal of. Front and rear ploughing. Despite it being a massive setup, it still isn't huge. The actual working width. So I think do the headlands last 
and then we'll hopefully make it easy to do the plowing up and down with a bit of luck. Now I don't know how long this is going to take but I would imagine it's going to take a long time so if it does we'll probably just break off and we'll do something else and then we'll come back to it later. So we're just having pretty much the whole video is time lapsing the plowing. Right, okay, I think we're ready to go. Just have to change the setting on that one. Is that good? Okay, there is a field boundary. Because that plow... Yeah, the rear furrow is doing nothing. I think everything is unfolded as wide as it can be. Yep. So, that's it. That is our working width. It's not terrible. But it's only the equivalent of a sort of medium-sized cultivator. But just look at the setup. It's brilliant. It looks so good. I definitely need to create a good thumbnail picture. Which you'll have already seen. That's the thing for me. I, I haven't even thought of what it could be. Yet, you already know exactly what it's all about. Well, it's all about this tractor and the plows, but yeah. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I'm going to just go up and down a few times, see how well this works, and it should be a success, I'm hoping. The only thing which would make it easier and more successful is if the furrows, the textured furrows uh, that you can see, um, actually follow the plow itself. So if I turn, <laughs> the texture will be the same. It will still be running in the same direction. It's just one of the limitations of the game. So can I lift them both at the same time? That's my next question. Yes, you can. Good. We do have four-wheel drive. So there should be no issues. It's all going really well. Okay, well, it's all going to plan. Very happy doing this. Just a little bit conscious of the length of the, uh, the time lapses there because I know that I just did 15 minutes recording and I usually do 10 minutes to produce a one minute time lapse. So, yeah, I don't want it to overrun too long, but we're about, we're well, actually over halfway. Yeah, it is about 15 20 minutes left of, of this job, but it is going very well. Anyway, I just wanted to mention the survival series not the survival roleplay series, the survival challenge. Uh, I did actually say in the previous episode that there were quite a few people asking for it to be twice a week and I did ask yesterday if that's something which a lot of people wanted to, to see. And yeah, I fully agree. I think it'd be a good idea and other people have said, yeah, have it twice a week. So I think it's something I'm going to do. The only problem is I don't really have the time to produce two videos in a day. Sometimes I do, very rarely though. I couldn't, certainly couldn't schedule it. So, um, yes, which video do we replace? I have to get rid of one to replace it with the second survival challenge video. I don't actually know which one. <laughs> um, uh, I don't 
think it should be I don't think it should be Purbeck. I'm only doing this twice a week anyway. And that only really leaves multiplayer, so I don't know. Well, multiplayer or survival roleplay. And I don't think many people are gonna say yeah, replace one episode of survival roleplay with survival challenge. So I don't know. <laughs> I just we either do replace a multiplayer video or we just keep survival challenge at one day a week. What would you prefer to see? That's my question. Multiplayer or survival? Okay, you know, I'm going to continue here. Um, I would say just another 50 second to a minute time lapse should complete this field. It's actually surprisingly easy from first person. I didn't think it would be, but yeah, because we've got such good visibility on that front plow, uh, we don't even have to look at the back plow. As long as that one is in the furrow, the rear plow will be following fine. So uh, I'm keeping it fairly straight too. There's no GPS. Now, before anybody says anything, uh, a few things actually. Um, yes, I could have mowed the grass first, and I could have taken that. But as I've already said, I want to get this field turned around really quickly, and we already have loads of grass fields anyway. And secondly, yes, I know that I could have used a cultivator and then put the mod on, uh, which allowed you to use a cultivator as a plow. I just wanted to try something a bit different. So, yeah, I'm already aware of all these things. Just messed that up. There we go. And of course, at the end, I'm going to be going around the headland a couple of times just to, uh, well, make it field shaped. At the moment, it's all got these, it's got these triangles. happens when I turn. So yeah, we'll continue. This couldn't really be going any better. Okay, so I think that's going to do for that time lapse. I'm going to just complete everything here, neaten up all the headlands and stuff. And then, we shall, I think, go and get the slurry tanker. I wasn't going to, but since it's probably a wise idea to uh, to do that, free fertilizer essentially, uh, we, we will just, we'll just do it. It is only week four of spring, so we do have a while left before the deadline for drilling. But really, we should be getting everything in the ground now, but it's it's probably going to be day five. Or week five. don't know what you call it exactly. Anyway, as you can see, pretty much on the boundary here. I'll see you in a second. And everything should look much neater. And there we go. Yeah, for some reason I can't play with that little piece there. This one here might go... Yeah, that one does. But the other one, I've been over it twice now and it, it didn't disappear. So maybe, maybe if I try it with the front plow, I've only been over it with the rear plow. That would be strange. Yeah, it doesn't go. It's a mystery. Okay, well, I'm going to call that finish. That is as good as I want it to be. I don't know how long it's taken. Oh, it's taken 0 0.8 hours, judging by the hour meter. So I just want to limit that to fields and then we should be okay. done. Uh, it'd be interesting to see that from above actually. Look at that. All ploughed. 
Uh, I think actually, although I don't like to uh, self-congratulate, it's probably the best play I've ever done in this game. I mean, there might be quite a few of you who disagree. But, yeah, it, it's, not, it's not particularly easy to play in this game. Okay, I, I really did choose the most difficult way of getting out of here. Um, yeah, we might have to go back the other way. I suppose it would have helped if I had folded the plow up. Right, okay, so we're going to continue using our demo tractor today. Such a nice tractor. Um, and, really, the next thing we're going to do with it is go and retrieve the slurry tanker, which I, in the end, did take down to the other field for no reason at all. We do have these two players to return, so I'll do that first of all, and then we'll come back. Okay, so here we are. We've just picked up the tanker with digestate in. So we're going to take this back. And I would hope that with this year's, this in-game year's profits from the crops that we're putting in, uh, we should be able to buy another block of land. Now we have been fortunate enough to already buy the other farm. I think we've done well to get that, but it's still not enough. It's only two fields. I think most of the money was in the farm, even though it was cheap. So that's field number 32 and 67. It would be nice to buy maybe one of these, because it brings back memories. Naveswell, I was in these fields here so much. Um, but at the same time, yeah, over here, I've never even been here except for my first look tour. So yeah. There is so much that I want to explore before we end the series, which I'm hoping is going to be a long way away. Definitely not episode 20. I'm aiming for sort of like episode 40, 35. But yeah, let's not talk about that, because I want to really see everything first. I'm not going to end it until I'm satisfied that I have done the map justice with my Let's Play, because uh, it really is in my opinion, one of the greatest maps of all time. It's going back to Naveswell. So many good memories. So yeah, because we have Digestate here, we can't mix in the cow's slurry with it, so uh, we just take the 80% to the field, but that's already, I think that's already plenty. How much do we need? I, I, I know that we do get through it fairly quickly, but I think getting through 32,000 litres on this one field, that, that would be quite an achievement. Don't think it's very likely. Yeah, could have gone in there, but we do have the other entrance as well. Now I reckon we should use this track to fit everything today, including spreading the slurry. Okay, that's quite a tight gateway. We're in. Uh, there's a pretty good boundary over there, actually. Yeah, this is, um, in my opinion, a very useful slurry tanker. I mean, there are others, there's, there's quite a few, but this one is just good. High capacity, looks good, very useful. I think next time I will actually come through the other gate, because that gate is just going to get in the way. So, yes, the Marshall Slurry Spreader. As, as nice as it is, again, it is probably almost time to upgrade to something a bit bigger. I am spreading slurry on pretty much every field. It would be a good thing to do as soon as we have the money. Yes, yeah, so I can usually judge how long I've been recording a video for, but when I do a time-lapse video, which is as big as what we've just done, um, yeah, it sort of is difficult to know how long the video is going to be. As I say, I always do aim for 20 to 25 minutes for these sort of videos. Uh, and I would hate to make it too short. I did make one 18 minutes long a couple of weeks ago, and I was disappointed with myself for doing that. But again, as I, I do say myself quite a bit, it's supposed to be quality over quantity. Let's just hope it is quality enough. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, we, we also have silage just there. We need to keep some of it. But because it is now spring, we're going to be doing some, some grass silage really soon probably the next episode actually and yes it would be a good idea to get the majority of it out of the way 
we always need to keep something. These uh, poplars, which are sort of self-set everywhere, they're, they're, they're all ready to cut. They've all lost their leaves. Or they've died. I think they're withered. Okay, we have 78% in here. Let's just set that going. We can fill up when we get to the tanker. Please tell me that's working. Okay. I think it is, but it's just hard to see. Okay, it works here, but it didn't work here. This is strange. Has it already been done? Oh, that's weird. What? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Yeah, I... Okay, that's going to make it difficult. I did already do a tiny bit of slurry spray on here. Um, I was using it what I had. This was a while ago. That's going to be very difficult to fill in the gaps. How am I going to do that? Okay, I might have chosen a really bad field to do this on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, now, I could obviously cover all of the ground. I've definitely been around the headland. So that's just a waste. Yeah, look at that. Right, okay, I haven't been here. Let's play that game. Where haven't I been? Oh, but I have not been here either. Do need to follow that. Okay, this isn't good, is it? This is this is moving away from that quality video I'm talking about. Although, like I said, I am quite impressed with my ploughing. Don't know how many times I can get away with saying that. Hmm. Yes, well, the point is... Although it looks like we haven't done the inside, we actually have. And no, I'm not going to continue doing this because it looks ridiculous. And also, the planter is going to... No, maybe it won't actually. I was going to say it probably applies to fertilizer, but I don't know if it does. Oh no, it does. It does. So, yes, let's just go and do a different field. What we'll do is we'll, we'll put this onto field number 61. Instead of messing around. Because after all, we're just going to waste digestate doing it this way. Playing finds the unfertilized bit of field. Can't say I've ever had that problem before, but I've never actually made such a mess of slurry spreading before. It's when we're trying to empty the tank. Right, so 61 should take it, hopefully. It's a good job I was checking the map, otherwise, I could have done the whole field, not realised. Would have been quite an achievement, though. Um, no, that's not going to take it either, is it? Hooray! So, we have we have field number eighty-two, which I did. No, it's already been planted. Thirty-six is done. Ah, forty-one and forty-two. They haven't been done. Right sort of moving away from my initial video plan here, but not to worry. Those two should quite easily accept slurry. Hopefully you're still with us. <laughs> uh, right. Let's just head over here. They're not going to take me that much, but I still need to bring the big tank across. once we know that it's going to work. Oh, they're not taking it either. Well, viewers, this is not really turning out too well. I don't know why they're not taking it. I'm probably doing something very obviously wrong. I think we should probably, just to make life nice and easy, I think we should probably just get a fertilizer spreader and just spread that field. Something with a really wide working width, which would be easy to do. I think I just saw a fertilizer spreader in here. I did. Now, using an 8740 on a fertilizer spreader like that is a bit extreme. But since this is my video of 
you know, showing it off, um, it would be a shame not to use it. It's on demo, we put the hours onto the demo tractor. Okay, so I'm just going to go get my supply trailer. We'll take this to the field ready. And then we can do it. And then we can say that the absolute mess of applying slurry has been fixed, although it'll probably still show through because of the different stages. Right, my yeah, my supply trader is here. I actually did already record the first section of yesterday's video uh, of getting all this set up and everything, but I just got to the stage where I thought, hmm, this is just getting a bit long-winded. And then I realised I'd already recorded about 12 minutes of the video, which is over half usually, or about half, and I'd actually achieved nothing except for putting pallets on a trailer, so I decided to start the video at the field. I'm pleased I did. Yeah, this is a good tractor. Pretty sure we do have the Massey Ferguson equivalent, like 5700 series. Um, although, yeah, it would be good to have... I keep saying it would be so good to have that Alpine tractor. I think it is the 5700 AL in the Alpine DLC, but it doesn't look like it's coming. Shame. Seems like a bit of a missed opportunity. Okay. So, here we are. Let's get one of these pallets of fertiliser. thousand litres, that'll do it. It's already got plenty in it anyway. And let the fertiliser spreading begin. 59% full. Application rate, 100 litres per hectare. Is that right? I guess so. Yep, so it's going to be difficult to see this, but if I just cover the whole area, I'm sure eventually it will be fine. Yeah, that was that was working fine. So here we go. It's actually going to show at the end a load of dark areas and a load of light areas, and that's the areas that I didn't do before. Wow, yeah, it's got to be one of the messiest fields I've ever seen, but luckily, as soon as it's planted, it will look perfect. So, oh, look at that. It's just made it look so much better. Now, I could have, as I said, I could just use the planter. It has fertilizer in it, but uh, it, well, I just have to fill it up now. Just use the uh, seed which is in it. So, I think, as long as we ignore what this field looks like, when that has got a load of corn growing in it, which is what it's going to be. Um, yeah, it should be just brilliant. So uh, anyway, we're going to leave it there. It's the 8740 used for today. We're very happy with it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.